Hey everyone, welcome back to the next installment of my hiker trailer series where I uh, modifying uh, some things on the trailer uh, to suit my own purposes. Um, this upcoming video is going to be about that hitch ring on the door. I've got another video coming up about these hitch rings. And uh, when I was editing the video, I realized I didn't have um, video or pics of the final shot. So uh, here you go. Um, it was intended to actually go um, on the back of this uh, fender here. There's a hitch ring there, but um, the bungee I had on hand for the video was a bit too long. So I just stuck it on the um, one up top there. Uh, but you get the idea. So um, there's one thing I, I do want to point out in the door. I do mention something um, in the upcoming uh, clips uh, about uh, bow shield, how it's kind of like cosmoline in a spray can. And um, when it dries, it kind of leaves a uh, yellow white uh, waxy residue um, that protects against moisture. So let's go look at it. I need to flip the camera around. So I think in the clip I mentioned I'm going to have to come in and wipe all this off. Well, I thought I had, <laughs> I thought I'd wiped all that stuff off. Well, when it gets wet, that's when it really uh, stands out. So yeah, I think you can kind of see the yellow uh, white, um, you know, wax uh, around the underneath the fastener and then between the the plate and the and the door you can kind of see where it's uh sealed that up pretty good so um all right hope you enjoy this video um let's get to it oh one more thing uh i apologize for the audio on the upcoming clips um i didn't realize um uh, that my audio equipment was jacked up. Um, it was a, a bad uh, USB-C to uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter. The, it's a cheap Amazon one with a screwed up uh, digital to analog converter. I've since fixed it, uh, but um, the audio is kind of uh, wonky for this video, so sorry. All right, let's get to it, guys. So I forgot to record part of this, but um, yeah, I really need to add a hitch ring to the back door of the camper. Um, I tried bunging to the edge and that just didn't work. So, um, started drilling some holes and, um, just want to show you the process. I'll speak you guys over. So there's the machine screw poking out. I got a nice um, big quarter inch fender washer and then um, this will be um, a lock nut. And the reason there isn't two holes drilled yet is I'm going to have to move you guys out of the way again. <sighs> well, whenever you're doing stuff that needs to be kind of perfect the first time, um, you know, taller should stack up. So if you just mark the holes and then drill them, uh, the first hole you drill is going to be slightly off from the mark, and then none of the rest of the holes are going to fit. So or be in the right spot. So what you do is you drill a hole and you insert a fastener. Um, if you work with aluminum, uh, you'll know that the basically 
uh, use Klikos, um to kind of act like a temporary fastener as you drill holes so that um, the tolerances don't stack up. And when you're done, you can actually get a fastener or rivet in the hole because um, it's perfect. So what I did was um, I did this, got this vertical as best as I could, stuck the drill bit in. Now I got a mark. Now I can take this out and finish drilling this hole. Door is filled with white styrofoam. So the next thing I'm going to do is just clean up the edges of that hole a little bit. With a step drill. Nice and smooth now. So the nice thing about step drills is if you start it ever so slightly um, to the next hole size, it will give you a little chamfer. So it's a great way to um, deburr the hole. I don't have to do it on the back side because the, the back side is a plastic sheet. So it's um, it's pretty much okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do, so instead of using silicone, um, which I'm not sure will damage the paint or not, I'm just going to use um, Bow Shield. Uh, you could probably use uh, fluid film. The bow shield is uh, kind of interesting in that uh, when it dries, it leaves a wax-like protection that's kind of similar to Cosmoline. It's not Cosmoline, but if Cosmoline came in a can, this would be it. So when this dries, it'll produce a nice little wax-like seal against those holes. So... Um, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to do right now is, um, get this goobered up a little. And I'll have to come back tomorrow and, and clean that up because it'll be this yellowish white, um, mess. And I'm using fender washers. Um, Cause there ain't much structure back here. It's just the, the metal on the outside, the plastic, uh, the foam and then the, this plastic uh, face. Um, so I'm just making sure I'm not pulling it through. It's a seven sixteenths. Yep, there we go. Definitely do not want to crank down on this because, like I said, this is. 
plastic and styrofoam. Okay, so that's that. I'm just going to kind of wipe up the excess. I'll definitely have to come back tomorrow and wash this off. Be quite the mess. Um, and then, so this is going to just rattle like crazy when I'm driving. Um, you can find a little like fuel line, cut a small bit, slit it down the middle, slit it down lengthwise so you can just flip it over and then that will keep it from rattling, um, kind of pat it. Or you can find like, um, maybe, uh, one of those thin rubber sheets, the ant, you know, keep things from skidding around in the drawer, whatever those are called. Just do a little contact adhesive, like, um, you know, right here, and just to keep it from from banging on the door. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to stop the rattle. Um, if this were steel, I would just use um, a magnet, um, but it isn't steel, so. Um, all right, there you go, hitch ring for the rear door, if I didn't talk so much, it'd be done in five minutes. All right, see you in the next project.